Nine of Swords. What the hell is happening? Taurus, you could be stressing the shit out, okay? You are in panic mode right now, sleepless nights, you're not sleeping fine, you're just constantly thinking about this person, this person could be on your mind all the time, you could be on their mind, energies can be vice versa, so yeah, take it out with resonance, but right now there's a lot of stress around this situation here. You could be overthinking a certain matter here, there's been a breakup between you guys, I'm getting here that probably you're panicking and thinking about whether this person will take you back, you know, or whether they're, they're stressing if they if you will take them back here, you know, but something's stressing you out here, okay, but this is a lot of, this is one of the reasons why probably you're not being able to take action towards them. Okay, or they're not taking action towards you because they're constantly in their head, right? That's a lot of ponder, 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 and there's just no action, okay? But someone's laid up at night. Page of Cups, yeah, stressing about wanting to communicate, Taurus. Someone's stressing out about wanting to communicate with you, like I said, right? Now, you're dealing with someone here, Taurus, who's extremely immature, okay? Page of Cups, this is someone who's very kiddish, shy, very shy very very shy shy not in the context of whether like oh i can't tell them that i love them but shy in a way where they fear rejection okay now this person's stressing the shit out because they don't know if they're coming towards you with their offer of love if they're coming towards you with an apology are you going to take them back is it going to be over for good are you just going to disapprove of them you're just going to shut them off completely whatever but someone's stressing the shit out about wanting to communicate with you and wanting to open up and wanting to be more vulnerable to you okay let's see how do you see yourself in this connection Taurus? just one second Tell me, how do you see yourself in this connection, Taurus? If you're on this side, how does Taurus see themselves in this connection? Strength. You love this person, don't you? You love this person to the core. You love. You do. You have a lot of passion. You have a lot of attraction. You uh, are in love with this person, but you're doing everything that you can using every inch of that muscle, that inner strength to resist this person, to tame the situation, to hold back from this person. Why is that? <laughs> with the Knight of Wands here, probably you're dealing with someone who's been a player. Okay. You're dealing with someone who's a player here. You've been broken. You've, you've been heartbroken in the past. Okay. You're probably watching this person from a distance here or you just have a lot of passion for them. Okay. But with the Knight of Wands here, this is, I mean, how you see yourself. You have a lot of passion for them. You want to go towards them, but you're just trying your best to hold back. Okay. Page of Swords here. You're watching them from a distance. Very uh, timid energy out here. Okay. With the Page and the Knight here. Give me one more card. The devil, you're addicted to this person, Taurus. You're addicted to this person. You, like I feel that there's been an ending between you guys here, okay? And something ended badly is also what I'm getting here, okay? But there is some reason here because of which you're just so addicted to them. You feel a strong pull, a strong connection towards them, okay? You want to rush towards them, but you're just trying to see, trying to, trying to just hold back yourself from rushing in towards them, okay? The passion is strong. And with the devil here, you just don't want to let this person go. You're obsessed with them. Tell me, how does this person see themselves in this connection with Taurus? Queen of Pentacles. You're dealing with someone who's very, very focused on something long-term, something committed. This person wanted marriage with you, okay? And the kind of energies that you were throwing out, you were just wanting to um, keep it on the surface level with them, okay? Again, I feel the love was there, the love is there, but it's just that you were not on the same page with this person. This is someone here who's like, you know, a working mother, could be a mother that you're dealing with, or could be someone, you know, who's just all about stability, long-term, they want something traditional, they want marriage, okay? That's how they see themselves. They don't want to offer that pentacle to you anymore right now because they feel that you've just been very immature all this while with them. Anymore. Ace of Swords, this person sees as they have clarity or they just want to communicate with you or they want to break through. I feel with the Ace of Swords that this person has some kind of a realization or some kind of an epiphany, okay, about where the situation is going. 
and temperance. Yeah, this person has left and surrendered this relationship to the universe here. Three of Swords. This person's very, very heartbroken with whatever happened between you guys. Okay. We have the temperance here. This person would want to reconcile. But again, with the temp, uh, uh, this also tells me that this person has released any kind of control and any kind of expectations when it comes to you or when it comes to this connection. They're going with the flow. If it's meant to be, meant to be. For them, it's like something's not a big deal anymore. Okay. They're being very patient with the progress. Okay. It's like right now they need their peace more than anything else right now. They're being very balanced and moderate right now. Okay. Tempering their emotions, their passion, their feelings. You're doing the same thing with the strength here. Okay. But it's just that you have the devil on your side here, which means that there's still some, some level of toxicity that you have around you. Okay. You're, there's still some lessons that you're not learning. There's still some codependent energy or there's still some kind of, um, how do I say this? A third party situation that is keeping you in that toxic loop, okay, when it comes to this person. And that's why this person has probably given up. And with Ace of Swords, this person has probably cut you off, okay? Or they just have the reality of the situation. It's in front of them, okay? It's in front of them. Okay, how do you view this person, Taurus? How does Taurus view this person? Four of Wands, you definitely want something long term with this person. You do, okay? You see them as marriage material. So what's happening here is that this is what you want with them. But I think the, with the devil here, you have your own fears, okay? No judgments here. You have your own fears. Maybe you have fear of commitment is also what I'm getting. But you view them as someone long term. You view them as someone, or you can, you can view them as someone who's already married. Or, but I'm getting more like you view them as someone you want a future with, okay? Wifey material. You just want to introduce them to your friends, your parents, okay? But you want marriage or commitment with them page of swords and that's why uh, you you could also see them as someone immature in communicating or see them as someone who's watching you from a distance okay because this is how you see them you could see them as someone very immature in communication or someone you know uh, who's probably cut them off or someone who's trying to avoid communication i think you also see them as someone who's waiting on communication from you that's also what i'm getting yeah, see, there's the soulmate connection here. You view them as your soulmate, buddy. You do. That's why you want them. You want them long term. There's every single thing on this table out here, which is screaming marriage commitment long term. I love you. I want you. Okay. But something just keeps stopping me from uh, giving you what you want is what I'm getting here. Okay. You're just taming yourself. You're trying to hold back. You're trying to resist this connection here. Why? Because you're not sure if this person will take you back or not. How does this person view you, view Taurus? How does this person view Taurus? The Six of Swords fell out. Okay. We'll take it. This person views you as someone they want to move away from. Things would have got really fucked up between you guys, okay? Things would have got really messed up between you guys because of which they feel the need to move away from you, okay? This is more like they want to move away. This is more like surrendering to the journey. They feel the need for change out here. They want to find a solution with you guys, but it's just that they're wanting to... Uh, um, uh, physically move away from the mental stress, okay, or the whatever stress is happening between you guys. This person could all be, also be seeing you as someone who is relocating. But I think this person is wanting to move with the flow and they're like, whatever happens, happens, okay. They're very disconnected or they feel very disconnected by you. They're, I think, putting a very, they're putting like this distance between you guys, whether physically or energetically. Tell me more. Wow, they view you as a soulmate too. They view you as their twin flame. You view them as your soulmate. Wow. What else do you want me to say? The lovers is a very, very strong connection here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a Leo, a Capricorn, uh, a Sagittarius, okay? Signs are not important, but people like it. So I say it sometimes, all right? This person sees you as the one, okay? And you see them as the one. Uh, it's it's just that this person has clarity about a situation and for, for them, it's like, I know what my worth is and if you're not ready to give that to me, I'm okay to walk away. I don't know why this is like a cross-watcher reading, but anyway, Taurus, this can definitely be you. This can definitely be the person you're dealing with. You know how it works. Tom, give me one more card about how this person used Taurus. Seven of Cups. They see you as someone who's kept them as an option. Okay. <sighs> 
they see you as someone who's kept them as an option here. That's how you, they view you. Either they view you as someone who's very confused and someone who does not know what they want. They can view you as someone who needs to make a very, very difficult decision. But maybe for time being, you're choosing something which is not good for your higher self. You're choosing something which is uh, good for the people's eye or good for the society rather than what's good for you. Probably that's how they view you. They view you as someone who needs to make a decision, okay? Like a very head over heart decision here. Very logistic. But definitely with the Seven of Cups, they view is someone who's probably dreaming about them, okay, but not doing anything about it, okay? Um, tell me, why is all this happening? Tell me, why is all this happening? The Emperor, yeah, because see, there is someone here who wants to take action here with the Two of Swords, but they won't take it. You want marriage with this person, this person wants marriage with you, okay? We have the emperor here. It's like an open and shut case, okay? You definitely want to marry this person or they want to marry you. The emperor here, they take accountability for their actions, okay? Someone out here wants to be the husband, the provider. They want to offer stability, commitment. Someone wants to step it up, okay? They want to take control and they want to set boundaries here, okay? Someone wants structure, okay? But the problem here is that they're still in that land of indecision, Okay? Because this is someone who's probably, again, very fearful. That's why the devil here on this side. Whoever's on this side here is very fearful of committing or fearful right now. Okay, Someone, I feel, is being very, very stubborn also at the same point. Uh, nine of Wands. Um, Doris, you could be dealing with someone here who's very afraid of commitment or who's gone through a very bad past because of which their gods are up. This person has a tendency of not fully giving into a situation or they're just very guarded. For no reason. They're just guarded. This guard, this being guarded does not have anything to do with you. But it's because of their past experiences. They feel that you'll hurt them. And they have trust issues. Okay. And that's why they're still not ready to make a decision. But the two of swords is like they're not ready to see the truth for what it is. Okay. They're living in denial. Although they want this with you. Okay. They want marriage with you. But they just won't do it. They're, rather, they're more comfortable, uh, you know, just like um, holding back their emotions. What action will Taurus take towards this person moving forward? What action will this person take moving forward? Uh, what action will Taurus take moving forward towards this person? Ten of Wands. This is becoming a stress. This is becoming a stress, a burden for you, Taurus. Okay? I think this is becoming more of a... Um, a burden, okay, and you want to end this cycle, okay, you want to end this uh, stressful, burdensome cycle, okay, because it's just very difficult to deal with. Uh, what's the kind of, uh, give me one more card for the actions that Taurus will take towards this person. Five of Wands, you're conflicted in your head. You don't know what to do here because this is just becoming too much. Day by day, it's just getting to your head, okay? You're very conflicted. There's a tug of war in your head here, you know? This could be a situation where there could be a lot of competition, okay, that the other person has. Or there could be a lot of people involved between you both, okay? And you know you need to fight this. I just feel that you're very conflicted within yourself, okay, about what to do or feel. Okay, because something will start a huge drama or conflict and have other people involved here. Give me one more card for the action that Taurus plans on taking towards this person. Queen of Wands, yeah. See, you're so passionate about this person. King of Cups here. You could be dealing with a water sign here, but you have a lot of love for this person here. It's very evident out here, Taurus. You do. Okay, you have a lot of love for this person here. But the thing is that with the Queen of Wands here, I think you are wanting to pursue this person. I think you will pursue this person here. And also getting with the Five of Wands here, you want to let this load go. And I think now you're finally wanting to even stand up for this relationship or wanting to fight for this relationship, okay? Because the love is immense. You just may not show it. You're, the, you're, you're, very, you're very good at suppressing your emotions, okay? Uh, what action does this person plan on taking? Towards Taurus moving forward. What action does this person plan on taking moving forward towards Taurus? Six of Pentacles. They want a balanced relationship. For sure. Okay, this person is wanting an equal give and take. Um, but I don't know why. 
I feel I'm picking up that this person is not wanting to give you anything right now till you don't give them what they want. What's give me one more card? Give me two more cards for the action this person plans on taking towards stories moving forward. See, the Empress here, this person's very chilled out. They're relaxed here. They're coming up as the Empress. They're not gonna make a move. They are not going to make a fucking move towards you, Taurus. Okay, cross watcher, if you're waiting for the Taurus to move towards you, hail to the fucking no. Okay, they're relaxed. They know things will work out. They know they're not gonna chase. They're only going to attract because they're using the law of attraction right now. Okay. This person out here, they're embracing their inner power to get their wishes. Okay. To conquer the world here. This is someone here with the Empress here who's letting things be. They're not worrying. They're not questioning. They're not being stressed. There's no effort, physical effort at least from this person here. They believe in their prayers. They believe in the divine. Okay. And that's why like a honey to a bee, you know, like a bee to a honey. That's why you're getting so attracted to this person with the queen of wands here. This person knows their worth and they're not going to settle for less. That's why I said with the six of pentacles, that's what I picked up intuitively that they're deaf, they want this and they will not budge and they will not settle for anything less. Okay. And the reason why with the queen of wands here, you're so attracted to this person, want you to take action. Now you want to fight for them is because this is what they're doing. Okay. Uh, this person is nurturing themselves. They have their self-respect. They're more on an emotional and spiritual level. Okay, give me one more card for what action will this person take towards Taurus moving forward. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, see, they're going to wait and watch. This person's going to wait and watch because see, their entire focus is on themselves. They're doing the work here. If this is you, Taurus, you're doing the work here. You're on your own. We have the Emperor and the Empress. You're both thinking about marriage. There's a huge potential of you guys getting committed or dead serious about each other. But this is a married couple, okay? They get married most of the times, okay? You want to take action. You're almost there, Taurus, if this is you. Or this is this cross watcher. They're almost there, very close to committing. Taurus, if you do not make a move towards this person continue doing what you're doing if you're on this side here you're doing awesome okay you are you're very close to getting this person to coming towards you okay because they're watching you they're watching you and they're coming coming towards you very soon give me the best possible outcome for this spread for taurus give me the best possible outcome for taurus this person could be very focused on their money their growth wanting to stabilize their growth this person's very happy where they are they're focusing on their own stability they're focusing on balancing themselves okay they could have been they could have been off balance till the time they were thinking about you or in this relationship with you but now their focus is themselves okay uh tell me the best possible outcome for taurus high priestess okay Trusting your intuition, Taurus. Trusting your intuition. You have a lot of feelings for this person here, but there's still a lot of secrets. You're keeping things to yourself. Um, give me one more card for the best possible outcome between Taurus and the person they're dealing with. The justice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Taurus with a high priestess here, I feel that um, whoever is the divine feminine here, right? Someone's in that feminine energy. Big time. Okay. And this high priestess is almost like the energy where someone's fully connected to the universe. This is someone who knows what to do, but they're not saying it. Okay. They're not showing their feelings with the temp with the high priestess here and with the temperance here. This is all, they're all very um, divine cards, right? It's all about giving it to the universe, surrendering to the universe, giving the silent treatment. But this is about trusting your intuition. Okay. A lot of things are known. You probably even feel, Taurus, that this person is coming towards you, but you're just not seeing it. You're feeling very confident. You're being quiet, very powerful and very sure. Okay. You're literally in that energy of your choosing to reveal what you want to reveal. But with the justice here, someone's coming in for sure. They're coming in to right a wrong. Okay, someone's coming in to bring balance to this situation here. Someone's coming in uh, with a very uh, practical and logical decision here. This is someone who didn't give you what you deserved in the past here. Okay, someone was unfair. Things were unbalanced in the past here. Someone's coming in to make things right. Okay, Taurus, they are. This was someone who was unfair to you. Okay, they were not giving you the justice or they were not giving this connection the justice that it deserved. Okay, finally, they're going to treat you right. They're wanting to ruin right 
okay they're wanting to do something uh that is more fair and balanced they want to right some kind of wrong here is what i'm getting they're ready to come in and correct what they did wrong they're doing what's right for this relationship and good karma is coming your way taurus for sure karmic justice is in your favor here yeah that's what i have for you that's a beautiful outcome here okay keep doing what you're doing taurus if you were in this side here okay whoever this resonates with but yeah this person still has that devil here that they need to work on okay they're trying their best to walk away from this devilish energy out here but yeah it's going to take some time before they come in but it is going to come in okay if you stay in your power if you continue with being in that empress energy out here okay do what you're doing you're doing best at okay this is awesome they're coming in but it probably is going to take some time let the situation play out on your own do not try and control the outcome okay all right that's what i have for you taurus hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye